but you can see how much fun you have making it. Mm. And in, in the show, uh, you play a mum, don't you? You play the mum to Tyler, a young boy called yeah. Tyler. Yeah. Who's yeah. How's it working with the, the young actor? Jude. Yeah. He's unbelievable. Honestly, he is the most professional actor. Out of all of us, he's the most professional on set. He knows everyone's lines. So if, say, if our minds go blank, he will tell, he will give me my feed line. And also you work with quite a lot of animals on the show. They seem to go for that in a big way. Yeah, like, someone asked me today how, like, different animals. So it's been a llama, a bull. This series that we're filming right now, we, we rob a petting zoo. So there's an armadillo, a monkey, an emu, a skunk. Yeah. Um, what else have we done? Obviously, like dogs and cats, they're I mean, boring. Yeah. I mean, that's quite enough. Like... I don't think you have to add to that. Yeah. I know. That's an impressive I know. But the, the kind of the old adage in show business is never work with children and animals. You're doing both in this. How? I'm doing what, both. So is, is it fun with the animals it's or is chaos. that tough? It's yeah. chaos. It's chaos. There was, um, I think it was the first series, we had a scene where a dog, so it's a trained dog, he had to basically have like a, a fight with a dildo. Will I say that? I think you can say dog on TV. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to go in. But there was a dog, and we, it was a trained dog, but for some reason he wouldn't hold the dildo in his mouth. Because he hadn't been trained with a dildo. Exactly, is exactly. That right? so he'd be and we were there for five hours, just like. He wouldn't do it. So yeah, we what wasted was the whole it day. About that dildo that he didn't like. I don't know, maybe it was too big. I don't know. <laughs> well, you must have worked with animals. Um, I have. I've, I've worked with... Well, dogs are the ones you're most likely because they're in domestic stories. <laughs> Horses are scary because any actor, when he's asked, you know, can you ride a horse, instinctively says yes, yes <laughs> because you want the job. I did a film, a sword and sorcery epic that flopped spectacularly. Was this the... The Huntsman yeah. Winter's War. I saw it. I saw it on TV. All right, there's no need for your, your film critic hat now, Jonathan. <laughs> I, it, quite, I enjoyed it. It's, it's an enjoyable Sunday afternoon film. There, that's Nick okay. Frost, and there's Chris Hemsworth, and there's me. Hemsworth. I didn't think you were in that photograph. Because... <laughs> because it doesn't look like you, and oh, I'm just saying this, yeah. that's a better look for you than the one you've got. <laughs> <going on. laughs> That's, that's about two hours, two and a half hours in, in prosthetics. He looks good, though, doesn't he? He does. You should wear prosthetics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, don't think it hasn't crossed my mind. <laughs> you know, you get away with the girdle, but for me, it would be... <laughs> it would be full prosthetics. So, we had to ride horses, so you get told, right, you're going to have seven weeks of training with a horse. I like horses, but I'm quite scared of them because mm. they can be spooked easily. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing, we go to a, a, a lovely stables, they, they train everyone. I get on the horse, we're walking around the paddock, it's going well. The girl says, you're doing so well, let's take you out into the field. We get into a field and this horse just goes <laughs> like the wind. And I'm clinging on with my thighs. And as I'm clinging on, I feel myself start to go like that. But the horse is staying like that. So I... And eventually... And I'm doing all the things that you, that you do to encourage it to go quicker. Right. I'm oh, going, yeah. stop! Oh, yes. Stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> and all he can hear is, go! 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 <laughs> eventually, he just runs out of steam. And the, the girl that was training me came and she said, I was terrified that this horse was going to throw you. So we carried on having these lessons. Anyway, when it comes to the act, and we it got OK, I was yeah. quite confident. In the finished film, if, if you can watch it, any scene, any time you see me on a horse, there is somebody just out of shot <laughs> holding the reins. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's not even a real horse. <laughs> There are scenes in that where Nick and I are... There's one scene where Nick and I are on two, two horses and they are animatronic. Have a look at no. this. Have you got... Have you got yeah, you look go. at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 